Hi everyone and welcome along. I hope you're starting to feel just a little bit Christmassy because today we are going to paint some gorgeous sort of Scandi style bauble gift tags. So grab your paints and let's get started. So this is a really fun way of um, doing a bit of painting but actually doing it in a sort of doing it for a useful purpose really. Um, so we're going to draw some so quite sort of traditional bauble shapes. It's always easier to draw one side than it is to draw the other. But don't worry if you're a bit wonky, aren't we all? Um, you can just sketch it until you're happy with it. Try and draw lightly, but I'm happy with those and I'm going to do a slightly taller, thinner one as well. So I'm trying to keep... There we go. And then of course, at the top of the bauble, the, uh, the all-important loop, which we're going to need to punch a hole for our gift tags. Okay, so I'm just going to give those a light rub out and then we can get started. I'm just waking up some Payne's Grey in my palette. Now my Payne's Grey is quite blue and I'm looking for a sort of bluey grey tone, so that's perfect for me. But if your Payne's Grey isn't as blue as this, just add in some French Ultramarine Blue and you'll get a lovely tone. I'm also going to choose um, uh, red, cadmium red, that's going to be rather nice. I'm going to choose this sort of limited colour palette, that's what I want to do. So I've got my red and my blue, and then I'm going to do them both quite diluted and paint washes on to begin with. So the red's gone on first, and now the paint's grey, and I'm painting them with a size 6 pointed round brush, large enough to get a nice even coverage quite fast but small enough so I've still got the control and you can see I'm just leaving a bit of space around the edge um, for a sort of design choice really. So we're going to leave these to dry 100% and then we're going to do some detail over the top of them. Now the colours I've chosen to do the detail in are going to be a sort of concentrated version of both of these but also just a slight variation on the theme I'm going to wake up Alizar and Crimson as well and some cobalt turquoise which I think will look really cool in our limited colour palette. It can be helpful to give yourself a handy guide so what I'm doing for this one I'm going to do a sort of a sort of snowflake, I suppose. Um, so I'm doing ooh, lines crossing over at the middle. Quite a lot of lines. Just drawing them quite nice and faint. And then that's going to be really helpful as I start to build up my my pattern. So as I said we're going to use the concentrated colours on top of this nice faint design and I think you're going to be using your detail brushes rather a lot so I've got my four tenth brush here and I'm going to begin with the the horizontal and vertical lines of my starburst design so I'll begin by just painting those in. You could always use a rigger brush as well. I love both I just sort of I go through phases and I think the the key with pattern is simplicity. So I'm going to begin just by painting simple angled dashes along my lines. Next I've got 
the turquoise painted in there and I'm going to paint sort of what look like little leaves but also could look like little snowflake patterns as well and they're going to have to get smaller as they go down. Now that's done I think I'll do just some solid red cadmium red in there and what shall I do I might just do a little circle on the end because obviously room is a bit tight now And three lines, let's just get a bit smaller. I think that's quite nice. And there we have our first lovely bauble and if you wanted you could always add a little extra something at the bottom and the top so I've just got some more of that red and maybe do a few of those little teardrop shapes they don't have to be symmetrical or anything just nice to um, get some detail in there Do excuse the uh, bit of building work going on outside. Nice and relaxing uh, setting for painting. Anyway, that looks really lovely. Let's move on to this one. For this one, I'm gonna take my size two brush and get some quite um, dilute cobalt turquoise and paint in some tapered lines that just sort of press out the brush as you as you sort of go down there we go press down and then control it back up as you come back up okay and whilst that dries we're going to use alizar in crimson paint dots and dashes down the middle and down the sides Once those are all painted in, I'm going to take some cadmium red and just create a little starburst design around some of the circles. Um, I think alternating is quite fun. And you can see, you know, that it's done very crudely. It's not particularly sort of even or sophisticated, but it's done with good repetition and so it's effective. So don't beat yourself up about having wobbly patterns because if you've set up the structure in the first place, then you'll be absolutely fine. Now for the other stripes, I think what could be quite nice is finally get this concentrated Payne's grey in and um, 
paint in maybe a nice thin line. With some with some leaves. Making a point of not having them all nice and uniform. Having them a bit wayward. And it just contrasts really nicely. So to finish off, I've just used yellow ochre to create the bauble loop at the top. And I'm just using my size two brush, painting quite a thick line, and then just filling in there, and doing a sort of slightly scalloped edge, but all very wobbly. Okay, so we just need to let that all dry and then we can cut them out. So now all cut out, they look really cool and I think what's particularly nice about them is the white outline. So I've got my little hole puncher here. So I'm just going to very carefully, make sure this is a smaller hole. Punch the hole out with those. Make sure if you don't have like a choice of hole sizes in a hole punch to make sure that you're not making your area too small and then just take a little bit of ribbon or twine or whatever you like and then I like to loop it thread it through oh these are so pretty I'm really really pleased with these and of course you could use your metallic watercolours if you like, get the pens out, do all kinds of designs on these. There's so much choice but the best thing about these is they can be gift tags or you could hang them on the tree. There are loads of loads of possibilities but I absolutely love them. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you can paint tons of those and put them all over your presents and impress your friends and family. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course if you never want to miss another video then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we will see you again next time. Bye!